What's up, YouTube? Just Gav here, bringing you guys a brand new video up onto the channel. This video is going to be a bit of a topic of discussion, and I think we're going to be doing a lot more of these here in the near future, basically discussing features that are have been in previous Battlefield games, are in 2042 specifically, and what I think and what, you know, maybe some of you guys in the comment section or some of you guys watching this think uh, should be in the next game. And today's topic is going to be on the Plus system. Now, personally, I enjoy the Plus system. I think it's a great way to make your gun more versatile, but there are for sure some negatives surrounding it. And in this video, in the gameplay you guys are watching, the BSVM is the number one culprit for why the Plus system is a negative or an overall negative in 2042 and possibly in the next game. But I, I don't really mind it on other weapons, but the BSVM, <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. But it's also how the gun is designed and how you can go from a DMR semi-auto to a DMR full auto to a SMG based on the ammo type which doubles or triples the fire rate or whatever which makes it the most versatile and in my opinion the best gun in the game minus the ammo count but we're not talking about the bsvm today we're, we're just talking about the plus system in general but i do think this weapon is a good example of how it can be absolutely devastating to the balance of a game and the readability of it really um, obviously, with other weapons, such as the SFAR with its own built-in grenade launcher, you can't take it off, right? You have three different grenade launcher types, plus if you're playing Assault and you're playing Zane. So you could have Zane, right, with his with his airburst, a SPH launcher, a SCAR or AK, or pretty much any Assault rifle or uh, LMGs you can put grenade launchers on, too, that you can switch to, from AP to HE to LVG to whichever, to smokes, to... Whichever uh, grenade launcher type, and it makes the game feel, I, I, I don't know if unpredictable is the right word to use, but it makes it feel like kind of like, oh, you know, you get shot, right? You're in a gunfight, you both take cover, you pop out of the gunfight, and then get direct impacted by a grenade, like... It, it, when that dude wasn't using the grenade law, or maybe he was, and he just he was using the grip and he switched, it just makes the gameplay kind of funky, and gunfights seem kind of illegitimate or or kind of I, I i like it but i can definitely see the negatives uh with it in the 2042 and going forward um, but there are obviously other things exacerbating the 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 plus system problem quote unquote we have in this game but yeah i, I think the readability of the game takes a huge hit when it comes to something like the plus system i thought it was one of like the coolest features they added into 2042 um, but obviously as the time has gone on and we've had our hands on with it it can definitely feel cheap Almost, especially when you're in a, a gunfight with like an SMG or something, they swap to the law and then swap to and then brr, and then it's just like yuck. Um, but how I, I, argument for the plus system is ammo types. I think ammo types are cool, and not just the ammo types, but the fact that getting ammo because team play has completely nosedived in Battlefield with the specialists, and even though the classism has kind of fixed that a little bit. People don't really run ammo on Falk, which is crazy to me. Like, why are you running anything but ammo on Falk? Because she has her med pin that you can... Anyways, but you don't see a lot of people running ammo. You don't see a lot of angels that much calling in their angel care packages. So having that additional ammo type slash reserved ammo, you know, no matter what kind of type it is, is nice. Especially when you're more of a solo player or, you know, like my play style. I'm not really around my teammates all that much. I mean, I am on certain parts of maps and certain, um, but it definitely helps me with flanking. I'm a big flanker, big back rage. You know, I'm, I'm a proponent of shooting in the side, back, above, or below. Don't get into head-to-head -head gunfights. So having that extra ammo uh, type slash ammo in reserve is kind of nice. Instead of uh, ammo, ammo, waiting for some doofus to, to, to put it down when we should just be able to take it off of them like you could in Hardline. But that's a that's another video. That's another one. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. But... Overall, in my opinion, I think the plus system was a cool addition to the game. There are positives. There are negatives. I don't know if they should have it in the next Battlefield. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Should they have the plus system? Should they not? Should they have a more, a more toned down version of it? So instead of three options per, uh, you know, plus or whatever, you have two or, you know, or do you get to pick and choose? Okay, you can carry three ammo types, but you can only carry one sight, one grip, and one barrel, or you can have three barrels, and you can have two grips and one sight and one ammo type, or you can have three sights, you can have one grip and two ammo type. Like, do, do they need to kind of balance it out almost like a pick 10 system from Call of Duty kind of thing? I don't know. Tell me what you guys think down below. Should, should it be the next Battlefield? Should it not? 
Um, would you improve upon it? What improvements would you make? Or would you just completely just do away with it uh, and just go back to how it used to be? So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. It's been Just Gav, guys. I'd love to hear what you think down below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. <gasps> Girl Scouts. <gasps> See ya. Bye, guys.